Wake up Wildcats! Today is Thursday, March 9th. I'm Owen Roach. And I'm Arden Banerjee, and we're here with a few announcements to end the week. Wildcats, make sure to wear red for our pep assembly on Friday. Girls can participate in the hands-on workshop at the annual Expanding Your Horizons STEM conference for high school girls. The conference is March 24th at Bellevue College, and tomorrow, March 10th, is the deadline to register. Stop by the Career Center for more details. Savannah College of Art and Design will visit Mount Si High School on Monday, April 3rd during second period in the College and Career Center. To attend the SCAD visit, sign up in Naviance. A representative from the University of Washington Office of Minority Affairs and Diversity will present on financial aid, financial resources, and FAFSA on Friday, March 31st at 4.30 p.m. in the Snoqualmie Tribal Center. Stop by the College and Career Center for more details. Congratulations to the Mount Si dance team that qualified for state in the 4A military category. They'll compete in Yakima on March 24th. Mount Si has not had a dance team at state since 2004, so congratulations and good luck to them. The blood drive is today, so if you have donated before or are 18, walk-ins are welcome, so be sure to stop by. Application packets for the ASB class for the 2017-2018 school year are available in the main and freshman campus offices. If you're interested in running for any executive board positions, packets are also available in the office. That's all for today, Hats. Until next week, I'm Arian Banerjee. And I'm Owen Roach. Have a great day, Mount Sion. Go, Go Cats! Meow! Hi, guys. I'm James Bent, and uh, I'm advocating for the Poetry Slam Club. And so I've come to read my poem, Why Write Poetry? Here it goes. I write poetry to be Julius Caesar picture. Portrait perfect and portrayed positioned ornate atop Baroque pedestals, persuading the masses of my power. Potent is the poetry spitting from my lips, putting peace into the minds of people who passionately couldn't care less about what I do with my power because words stimulate the senses, provoke thoughts, and the mind does the rest. Think about that. I write because I've learned that poetry is power. None of that passive pushover knowledge is power garbage that college professors like to push perpetually down your esophagus. No, poetry is real, honest power persuade. Pacify, coerce, control. Use poetry to be an assassin like Brutus, who couldn't help but backstab, a betrayer of trust. Be like Brutus and spread far and wide a cause worthy of the human race. I write poetry to inspire poetry to cast shadows on the shadows that shade a lost generation of great poets from the light of their potential, to positively provoke profound thoughts in the multifarious minds of people who can think and feel with the same complexity as myself. I write to abolish the analytical prison that keeps our minds slave to fruitless thought, to free caged birds everywhere so that they may one day sing their song to the world. I write poetry to say what is unsaid often to say anything that can be said, to say anything about anything and everything about everything because only a fraction of a fraction of the thoughts that come like trains through the Grand Central Station actually embark into the world. Don't we all write to say something? Don't we all write? Because we see the world in our image and use descriptive adjectives and a thesaurus laced in silver lining to project our passions poetic. Don't we write? Because we see the world as it is, the golden ratio of pessimism and optimism, probably something like 10 to 1. And once we understand why the world is the way it is, we write to inspire change. And we satirize with sarcastic comments and enough alliteration to antagonize the political prowess of pathetic politicians, call unabridged attention to unfair altercations, to bring forth the folly of mankind into the minds of all those who are willing to read or listen, because as I said, words stimulate the senses, provoke thoughts, and the mind does the rest. It's like inception. We write poetry because we are agents of the mind, creating consequential ideas to be picked up subconscious. We write because we are architects. Words like Lego bricks are meaningless in a bucket, but as the engineers of thought, we can machine marvelous masterpieces out of mere nothing. Our poetry is the Taj Mahal unsurpassed. I write for the same reason we all write, because poetry is a part of us, an appendage of our being, organic, seeing, speaking words float freely in the air alive like the seeds of a dandelion whisked away with the tip of the tongue, and the land in the fertile minds of people where they will one day germinate and spread from their mouths into the minds of those who are willing, willing to read or listen, because poetry is meticulously crafted from words and words which stimulate the senses, provoke thoughts, and the mind does the rest. Thank you.